Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will see about the custom directives. How to create the custom directives in the view 3. Normally, if you try to see, we have the default set of directives which normally by default ships with the core. Those are nothing but vi and model, vi and show, vi and if like this. We have the set of directives, right? So like this, these are normal directives. So default directives. In addition to that, view also allows us to register your own custom directives also. We already introduced two forms of code reuse that is components and also the composables. So these are the two things which we can make the code reusable. Components are the main building blocks while composables are focused on reusing the stateful logic. So where these custom directives actually fit in? Custom directives on the other hand are mainly intended for reusing the logic that involves low level DOM access on the plane elements. That is the main thing. The custom directive is defined as an object. So it is defined as a plane object containing the lifecycle hooks similar to those of a component. These hooks receive the element the directive is bound to. And also we have other things like argument bindings and all those things we'll be having. So I will try to show you a simple basic example how this custom directive will be. Let's say we have a single post. We already have this single post, right? So this is our single post. You see the output here. You see the output in this one. This is our output. In this output, which here we are having edit post. Now what I want to do is let's say we have an input box. Here I am having an input box. Input type is equal to text. Normally we are having this one. If you see here, we are having an input box. Now what I want to do is, whenever we are, I am trying to do this one, automatically this one has to auto focus. So this is the thing I wanted. So what can I do is, we can create our custom directive. How can I create our custom directive is, so here I can use VIF and focus. So which is our custom directive. I am using VIF and focus. And now how we can define this one in the composition API is, constant v focus is equal to i told you right directive is a simple object so like this we need to create an object and in this object we will be having the life cycle loops or anything so i can create with a mounted so this has an argument element so this gives the element that is bound to so here this element is bound to the input element and here element is nothing but an input element and now if i want to do el dot focus that's it now automatically this will be focused. If you try to see here output, see here, automatically it will be focused. If you go here into the 3, 4, 5, yeah, here it will be focused. If you want to uh, show something like what I can say, background color if you want to change it, so border color, also you can change it to red. That's it. You see the output here. See, the border color is also changed. So this is how we can create a custom directive. The basic custom directive how we can create is this one. So normally what the directive is, so the directive which we have created, so this one will auto focus the input element. This directive is more useful than the auto focus attribute. So normally we have an auto focus attribute. We can have this directive. So using like this auto focus using the directory is more useful. Because it works not only just on the page load, it also works when the element is dynamically inserted by the view. So when the element is dynamically inserted by the view, then also this auto focus works. So which you have used it with the directive. So that is the main thing. So in script setup, any camel case variable that starts with a v prefix can be used as a custom directive. In the example above which we are trying to see, V focus can be used in the template as V iPhone focus. So here we are having as a prefix V, right? So this can be used as a custom directive. And in this one, so here we can use it in the template as V iPhone focus. So this is one thing which I want to tell you. If you are not using the script setup means, then you can have a directives option and you can use it. So not only like this, we can also create the custom directive globally. So that you, this custom directive which we have created now, it is only registered locally. So that means it will be registered only to this component. So if you want to make this directive available to globally means then you can remove this one all and let's go to the 
main dot js so here you can register the directive so how we can register the directive is app dot directive and the name of the directive focus so there is no need to mention the b prefix and we will be having an object in this one we will be having a mounted we can also use it like this element we got the element and in this element you can write element dot style dot border color is equal to yellow we will change it to yellow so that we can be able to see the output now if you see the output here if i click on the second one third one yeah here we are able to see this in yellow color so now the custom directive which we have created globally this can be used in any component so this is one thing so we can create the custom directive both in the component level and also we can also register the custom directive in the app level also so that is the main thing custom directive should only be used when the desired functionality can only be achieved via direct dom manipulation prefer de declarative templating using built in directives such as vif and bind when possible because they are more efficient and server rendering friendly so that is the main thing so whenever you prefer dom manipulation direct dom manipulation means it is preferable to use the custom directive most of the time try to use the built in directives only so that is one thing so now we have understood about the basic creation of the directives so how the directives can be created and how the directives is useful to us so we have seen the basic thing and the next one which i want to tell you is the directive hooks okay so this is also one of the important concept so direct in the directive hooks if i want to show you good pen let me to open this pen so directive hooks just like the component how we have a life cycle hooks the same scenario directives also has a hooks the first one is the created okay and the next one is the before mount before mount and the sec and the another one is a mounted before update and here we will be having the updated and we will be having before unmount and the last one is the unmounted so these are the life cycle directive hooks which you will be having all these hooks takes the common arguments first one is the element second one is the binding and another one is a virtual node v node and last one is the previous virtual node so we can write it like this we can also so these are the four arguments which all the directive hooks will be passed out so here we have these are all optional so another thing what you want to what i want to tell you is these are all optional here we have used only the element right so we can also have a binding so we will be also optionally pass the other elements like binding and we will be having a v node and another one is a previous v node these are the different types which we can able to see so these are all the things what are what is this element we have seen about this element what is this binding what is this virtual node what is this previous virtual node so these are all the things we'll try to see it in the next video so binding is one of the important things so these thing these two things are not needed the element we are able to understand it binding is also one thing which i want to which i'll explain you then afterwards we'll try to see some of the concepts in the uh, what i can say in the directives and we can close this directive hope you understood about this basic simple creation of the custom directive if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you